Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to The Den. Today we have a little surprise. IGN actually just dropped the Star Wars Bounty Hunters trailer. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a remake or a remaster or re-release, but I wanted to hop on here and watch the trailer that they just dropped with you guys and uh, get my thoughts on it. So let's get into it. Not kidding us. Our cloners require a host. You must find an ideal specimen. It's among the galaxy's most dangerous mercenaries. Greetings, Django Fett. I have a proposition for you. So it looks like it's just going to be a re-release, not a remaster. No, no, Django. It's too dangerous even for you. I am the oh. best. Love the spins. Always was. Nice. Oh, August, okay. It looks like it's coming to to everything too. We got Steam, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. If you guys don't know, Aspire kind of boofed the Battlefront 2 launch, so that makes me a little nervous with, with this game. Now, this game doesn't have any multiplayer or anything like that, so it's it, it's not a huge, huge deal. But I'm going to be real. I, I am excited for this, and I, on the one hand, I am glad because I feel like a lot of people haven't played this game. And I feel like even, if, even though it is a re-release, it's going to give people the opportunity to actually, like, dive in because this is a really fun like run and gun like shoot 'em up style game with Django. But um but yeah, you know, Aspire's making me a little nervous because they they did really boof the Battlefront 2 launch where that that game is kind of a ghost town. But it looks like they kind of just did a little the same thing that they did with Battlefront 2 where they just used AI upscaling to kind of upscale the graphics. It would have been nice to have a complete remaster and reimagined graphics with today's standards. I'm kind of getting tired of just these re-releases. Again, it, it's cool for the people who haven't played it, but for like old game, Star Wars gamers like myself who were like grew up in the Lucas Arts era, a remaster is just kind of like, oh, okay, I could just go play it on my PS2 or my GameCube, you know? But um, hopefully they also fix the camera movements because that's the one big thing with this game that if you haven't played the PS2 or GameCube era, the camera is really wonky. So I'm, I'm hoping there's a little bit of tweaking going on with that stuff, but I'm, I'm excited. You know, I'm definitely going to do this on stream. I'll probably buy it on Steam and, and stream the whole game because I didn't really play this so much growing up. It was a little bit later, like in my kind of like early 20s when I got it. So I didn't play it uh, growing up, but I'm excited to sit down and actually like play through the entire thing. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for this? Are you going to pick it up? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, hit that like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And as always, may the force be with you.